All right, moving on. Now, the NCP Chief Sharad Pawar makes this shocking claim. Says that Maharashtra Deputy Chief Minister Ajit Pawar was still a party leader and there is no split in the party. Pawar has said that his nephew Ajit Pawar had now taken an anti-party stand. They had to file a complaint to the Assembly Speaker for which they are awaiting a response. Rejecting a split in the party, Sharad Pawar claims few MLAs left the party and some, take a different, some took a different stand, which he claims was their democratic right. Ajit Pawar faction hails Sharad Pawar as their deity and they would always respect him no matter what. However, Congress has called Sharad Pawar's statement a mere strategy as they approach the election commission over NCP's legacy. Meanwhile, BJP has claimed, uh, has uh, in fact expressed confidence that Sharad Pawar would change his mind and support the Modi and, Modi and NDA alliance in the upcoming Lok Sabha. Uh, Success who's the JC. Then successes because of the other this was the year. As the CC Senate, Sahi Lukani sounds of success of the Kai Lukani review with the JC. So the same is a Sajika day. So then the Registrar Manu, there is who's who has a great cousin, so then the name. Okay, आणि आता जरी पक्षा जगतात काही जरी भूमिका घेतलेली आहे त्याची कंप्लेंट आम्ही स्पीकर साहेबांकडे महाराष्ट्राच्या असेंबलीमध्ये दिलेली आहे त्यांच्या उत्तराचा मी वाट बघतोय शरद पवार साहेब आमचे नेते आहे आणि उद्या पण राहणार आहे शेवटपर्यंत आमचे ते नेतेच आहेत कुठे त्यामध्ये कुठला वाद विवाद नको शरद पवार साहेबांचा बद्दल आदर माझ्या आणि आमच्या पक्षातला कोणत्याही व्यक्तीचा कमी झालेला नाही ना होऊ शकते मात्र आता ठीक आहे राजकीय भूमिका आमची आज एक वेगळी असेल पण त्यांच्या आदर हे नेहमीच आमच्या समोर ते एक दैवत प्रमाणे राहतात साल भरे मे मोदी जो काम करने वाले है दो हजार चौबीस के चुनाव तक और आज तक जो काम किया नौ साल ये देखते हुए माननीय शरद पवार साहब का भी मन परिवर्तन और मत परिवर्तन होगा और मुझे लगता है कि वो चुनाव तक माननीय मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में आने वाले भारत का निर्माण करने के लिए निश्चित रूप से उनका मन परिवर्तन होगा उनका उनका एक स्ट्रेटेजी हो सकती है जो आगे इलेक्शन चुनाव के सामने इलेक्शन कमीशन के सामने जो विषय है सुप्रीम कोर्ट में स्प्लिट का उसको लेकर उनकी स्ट्रेटेजी कुछ बनी होगी उस आधार पर वो स्टेटमेंट दे रहे होंगे और चुनाव के वक्त दूध का दूध पानी का पानी कौन किसके साथ है ये हो जाएगा All right, cutting us across to Mustafa Sheikh joining us live for more on that. Mustafa, go on. Who is the real NCP chief? Really, there's so much confusion with Sharad Pawar now saying Ajit Pawar is our leader. Uh, Supriya Sule taking a softer stance on Ajit Pawar. Uh, Sharad Pawar saying there's no split in the NCP. So then uh, on whose side is the NCP? The India Alliance or with the BJP now? Well, uh, the situation in Maharashtra is uh, dynamic, Nabila, as, at this point we can say this. And also there are two meanings to what Sharad Pawar statement he has made this morning. One is that he's uh, trying somewhere to not have a legal battle with Ajit Pawar. Remember mm -hmm. the Stena split just one year ago. Uddhav Thakre ended up losing his party and party symbol. The MLAs uh, against whom he had complained that disqualification is yet to take place. So this is one. Second is that there is some strategy going on between the BJP and the NCP as claimed by many BJP leaders now is that even after uh, having Sharad Pawar, if you see the India Today Sea Water Survey yesterday also, the, the maximum of the 48 seats in Maharashtra is going towards uh, the India Alliance, which is 28 seats are towards India Alliance and Mahayuti or the BJP Shiv Sena are getting 20 seats. So somewhere the purpose of taking Ajit Pawar in the alliance, in the ruling government, in the state and with NDA has not served the purpose yet for BJP. The BJP thinks that only once Sharad Pawar joins their side, it will have two advantages. One, that it, he will make NDA stronger. And the second would be that there will be a big dent on the face of India opposition parties because Sharad Pawar was the person who coordinated and who brought all these opposition leaders together and formed this new group. So somewhere uh, the BJP is eyeing that the India opposition party should be dented and no better to get a leader like Sharad Pawar and to, to do it 
but shad pawar last time after meeting with uh, ajit pawar secretly had clarified that he will be fighting against bjp but again this morning his statements are which are being construed uh, either he is trying to avoid a legal battle or there are some negotiations going on these two points is something which one could understand back to you well very well put uh, thank you very much mustafa of course uh, the legal hurdle might just uh, permanently damage the ncp's prospects going uh, by what happened to udav thakre shiv sena